Hello kids, I miss you. Well, I have a fun experiment for you today. So we are going to look at what happens when we mix some baking soda with some vinegar. And I bet you know how it begins, but you might not know how it ends. Well, have you ever tasted baking soda before? Salty. It's not good. So, have you ever heard anyone be called salty before? When someone's being called salty, it might mean they're being rude. And sometimes we're not rude just once in our life. So we're gonna add a double portion of rudeness to our container. Now, we're gonna add some vinegar, and I know you know what happens on this part of it. So have you ever tasted vinegar before? I mean, even smelling it, it doesn't smell good. So to taste vinegar, oh, it's bitter. And so this vinegar is gonna represent for us bitterness or anger or hatred. So let's add it to our container. Now the experiment does not end there. So these candles represent us they represent our lives as Christians, and they're lit. They are filled with the Holy Spirit. They have the Holy Spirit in them. And when we add anger and bitterness to, um, to our lives, we could put out the Spirit's fire. So see, as this vapor just comes near it, it puts it out. I didn't even need to pour that on it, just the reaction of rudeness and bitterness and anger can hurt our inner spirit. So I have a Bible verse. It's a longer one than usual, but it's a very important one. It's taken from 1 Thessalonians. Live in peace with each other, each of you doing your part. Warn those who are lazy. Encourage those who are timid. Care for the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong. And be careful that when you get on each other's nerves, you don't snap at each other. Look for the best in each other. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for your life, for those who belong in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the Spirit's fire. So did you hear that? Do not put out the Spirit's fire. The Bible's instructions continue. Hold on to what is good and stay away from every kind of evil. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy, make you holy. And may he make your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God will make this happen. He who calls you is faithful. So I hope you enjoyed that fun experiment. And remember that rudeness and bitterness and anger can put out the Spirit's light and love in our lives. So let's not put out the Spirit's fire and let's live caring for one another. Bye for now.